31 Norwich Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Did you know Norwich and Norfolk Terriers were initially considered two varieties of the same breed, only distinguished by their ears? Well, yeah, the Norwich Terrier has preak ears, while the Norfolk Terrier has drop ears. Number 2. Standing at a diminutive height of no more than 10 inches and weighing around 12 pounds, Norwich Terriers rank among the smallest terrier breeds. This stature places them in the company of other visually comparable terriers, such as the Yorkshire Terrier and the Russian Toy. Number 3. Like Yorkies, Norwich Terriers have a coat with a tan base that commonly fades to black, although you can also find red, wheaten, and grizzle coats too. But unlike the silky smooth hair of a Yorkie, the Norwich Terrier's fur is wiry, hard, and nearly weatherproof. After all, this coat developed to protect these vermin hunters from outdoor hazards. Number 4. The Norwich Terrier has two types of fur, a rough, wiry outer layer and a soft, warm under layer. It's best to use a steel comb regularly, at least once a week, to get rid of loose hairs and prevent tangles. To properly care for the Norwich's coat, which is similar to other wiry coats, needs stripping that involves pulling out the oldest hairs from the fur. Number 5. The Norwich Terrier is one of the seemingly endless varieties of terriers bred during the 19th century in East Anglia to control Britain's rodent population. These dogs were skilled at catching rats and were also used in groups during fox hunts. One of the main tasks was digging holes to locate hidden burrows. Number 6. Norwich Terriers are known for their strong appetites due to their hunting instincts. They have a constant desire to eat and are not choosy about their food, happily gobbling up just about anything edible they can find. However, the frequent eating habit of your pup might lead them to obesity, which can affect their health if not controlled. Number 7. In the late 19th century, Cambridge University witnessed a delightful phenomenon, a canine craze among the undergrads of Norwich Terriers. The reason? Well, their dual purpose as charming companions and efficient dorm room ratters. The undergraduates often acquired these dogs from Trumpington Street, leading to the nickname Trumpington Terriers for the breed. Number 8. One of these terriers from Cambridge, a dog named Rags, found his way to a stable yard owner in the town of Norwich. This remarkable canine, known for siring several litters of exceptional quality, is now considered the granddaddy of today's Norwich Terriers. Number 9. The breed's American history began in 1914 when a Brit named Frank Roughrider Jones utilized descendants of Rags to breed a dog named Willem. Willem was exported to Philadelphia, where he became the breed's cornerstone sire in the United States. Number 10. In 1932, the English Kennel Club officially recognized the Norwich Terrier as a breed for the first time. Interestingly, at this stage, both dropped-eared and prick-eared varieties were included under the same breed umbrella. Number 11. Some Norwich Terriers naturally have one prick ear and one drop ear. While not part of the breed standard, this unique feature is sometimes referred to as a mismatch or rogue ear and adds to the charm of these lovable terriers. Number 12. Starting in the 1930s, breeders increased their efforts to distinguish the Norwich Terrier and the Norfolk Terrier. While these two terriers were interbred for a number of years, today they are absolutely two distinctive breeds. In fact, historical texts indicate that some considered the two as distinctive breeds even before they were interbred. Number 13. In 1936, the first Norwich was registered with the AKC, a drop-ear English male named Witherslack Sport. Similar to the English Kennel Club, the AKC also initially included both ear types in the same breed group. Number 14. Norwich Terriers with both types of ears were permitted to compete in the ring until 1964, when the English Kennel Club officially recognized the drop-eared variety as a distinct breed called the Norfolk Terrier. This marked the official distinction between Norwich and Norfolk Terriers. Before that, they were called the Norwich Terrier DE for dropped ears and Norwich Terrier PE for prick ears. Number 15. It wasn't until 1979 that the AKC also officially recognized the two different ear carriages as distinct breeds. The Norwich Terrier, characterized by its brick ears, was established as a separate breed. Meanwhile, the Norfolk Terrier continued to be recognized as a breed with its iconic drop ears. Number 16. Until 2009, both Norwich and Norfolk Terriers fell under the umbrella of the same parent club in America. However, recognizing the distinct characteristics and growing interest in each breed, members voted to establish separate clubs that year, the Norwich Terrier Club of America and the Norfolk Terrier Club. Number 17. In 1940, a puppy match show took place for a relatively new breed, the Norwich Terrier, held on Long Island and hosted by Theodora Winthrop. This event would become the jewel in the crown for Norwich lovers, setting a tradition that remained revered for the next six decades. 
Number 18. The Norwich Terrier is considered a breed with a long lifespan. The US and the UK breed surveys show their average life expectancy to be 13 to 13 and a half years. This means you can expect to have your furry friend around for many years of companionship and enjoyment. Number 19. Compared to other terrier breeds, many Norwich Terriers are more tolerant toward other dogs and cats, especially dogs and cats who belong to their own family. However, some may be a bit assertive with unfamiliar dogs or have a strong urge to chase and catch cats and other small animals. It's important to keep a close eye on them to make sure all their pets stay safe. Number 20. Because Norwich Terriers are so outgoing and willful, experts suggest that they might not be best for first-time dog owners. To be on their best behavior, these Terriers need consistent positive reinforcement training from someone with experience. Otherwise, those little paws might walk all over you. Number 21. Norwich Terriers have relatively large heads for their body size, which can create difficulties during natural birth. The puppy's head may get stuck in the mother's pelvic canal, requiring a C-section to ensure the safety of both mother and pups. Number 22. Norwich Terriers typically have small litters, usually consisting of one to three puppies. The best time for a healthy female to breed is between two and six years of age. Once a Norwich Terrier reaches seven years old, it's considered geriatric, entering the later stages of life. At this point, they may be prone to health issues and their ability to breed may decrease. Number 23. In general, small dog breeds are typically considered geriatric when they reach the age of 10 to 12 years. However, reaching this stage at just 7 years, Norwich Terriers are an exception to this rule. Surprisingly, only large and giant dog breeds such as German Shepherds and Great Danes are classified as geriatric at this early stage in their lives. Number 24. Norwich Terriers are usually healthy but are relatively rare due, to in part, due in part to their low litter size and the common need for caesarean sections. Because of their rarity, they are among the pricier terrier breeds with prices ranging from $1,500 to $4,000 depending on their breeding. Number 25. Many Norwich breeders who produce a large number of dogs are noticing an increase in breeding problems among Norwich Terriers. In response, the Norwich and Norfolk Terrier Club in the US established a new committee focused on the health and genetics of these dogs, specifically addressing upper airway syndrome. Number 26. Norwich Terriers were bred as working terriers and thrive best with at least one hour of real activity daily, such as a good walk, run, or working session. Like any hardworking dog, the Norwich Terrier loves to be rewarded with a hardy play session. Number 27. The Norwich Terrier's tail can range in length from 2 inches to an impressive 8 inches. In terms of types, they have either a drop tail or a rice tail. A drop tail is a more common type and it hangs down naturally, reaching the joint between the ankle and the tarsus, whereas the rear rice tail curls upward over the back, sometimes touching the dog's rump. Number 28. Norwich Terriers are popular in earth dog competitions and are becoming increasingly common in agility and flyball competitions. Their terrier heritage gives them the courage, tenacity, and problem-solving skills needed to excel in navigating tunnels, burrows, and other obstacles. Number 29. In the past, people in the UK had to pay taxes on dogs. However, there was minimum tax on working dogs as they were deemed beneficial to society and not considered luxuries. Docking of the tails was also limited to working dogs and banned for dogs kept for any other purposes. This is why it was common practice for Norwich owners to dock the tails of their dogs. Number 30. Nowadays, supporters of tail docking believe that working Norwich Terriers should have a dog tail to reduce the risk of injury when extracting them from a hole after hunting. They also think it just makes the breed look better. Number 31. While there are people in favor of tail docking, there are some who are against it as well. Opponents of tail docking argue that docking severely damages the important canine tail signaling system, which is vital to a dog's social communication. Where form follows function, the tail assists the dog with balance for movement over rough terrain and turning at speed. Alright guys, now which of these Norwich Terrier facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.